Hello guys, welcome to Rookie Coder. Hope you guys are doing well. So guys, today I am going to discuss about an open source ITSM tool which is Otobo and uh, it is a ticketing tool and help desk system. So here in this video, I am going to talk about the complete details of an Otobo system. So uh, like for example, uh, what is the Otobo system and what are the uses of an Otobo? What are the key features we have? What is the history behind Otobo system, what are the tech stack used to build the tool? Okay, so uh, let's move to the next slide. So, what is Otobo? Otobo is an open source ticketing and IT service management system. It is from uh, like a, it is a forked from OTRS. OTRS is the previous version of an Otobo. OTRS was discontinued in in the previous years. Okay, so Otobo is the updated version of OTRS. Okay, so this is used by support teams, IT help desks, customer services departments and multiple organizations like for example, uh, a government, uh, government officers and uh, private officers, hospitals. These are some examples where we can implement the Otobo for ticketing purpose for raising requests. Okay, so you here you can see I have mentioned some points here. Uh, I will take a pen here and uh, yes, this one. So here you can see uh, on net. Yeah, so this one. Yeah, so you can see here this one ticketing and ITSM and open source and help desk, right? So it is completely open source. We can customize this one also uh, according to our need. So we will see about this, like how can we customize, how can we uh, upgrade uh, this one. Uh, these all things I will cover in the upcoming videos. So today we will uh, we will talk about the details of Otobo and key features. Okay, so coming to the next slide. So uh, history and background of an Otobo. If you see the first one, the fork of an uh, OTRS community edition after it was discontinued. The OTRS is discontinued then the Otobo is born actually. Okay, so it is completely built in Perl. Okay, so uh, let's take a pencil. See here, the backend language is Perl actually here. The the whole Otobo backend is built in using the Perl technology. So you can see Otobo core is written in Perl, which makes it lightweight, stable, and well suited for text processing and automation tasks like. In the in the ITSM tool, there are tickets. The tickets we need to we need to manage the uh, tickets, right? So for we need to automate them, right? We need to trigger some events. We need to uh, manage the workflows. So for that reason, the Perl is the best programming language to do this thing. Okay, so that's why they use the Perl here. And if you see, it is web based. Okay, front end is uh, like a website, and you can also use this. Uh, like uh, you, you can also use it in computer, laptop, or any browser where the like a uh, Chrome, Safari, or Brave. Okay, and uh, Microsoft Edge is there. In these all application, in these all browsers, we can implement this one, right? So, for example, here you can see agents and customer interact through browsers interface, right? So, no extra client software is needed, right? So this is all about the uh, front end, and uh, you can see it is plat uh, it is platform independent. So it works across the Linux windows and uh, Docker uh, Docker environments with uh, Docker environments, right? So since all you need is just a web server and database. Obviously, uh, database is mandatory, which is uh, compulsory. Where where there is a software, there is a database. Okay. So this is about the basic details and. Currently, the Otobo is maintained by Rother OSS, which is a German company. Okay, so it is currently under uh, this organization and they are going to release the updates. Right, so after that, see here, uh, it is completely uh, open source and uh, GPL licensed. Uh, let's move to the next slide and uh, yes, yeah. So now we will talk about some major key features of an Otobo system. So see here the ticket management, we can create, assign, track the tickets. Like if you have any requests, if you have any uh, query, for example, customer support, right? So you or, or else if you have any knowledge based system that also you can manage here, you can create a ticket and uh, uh, 
uh, uh, get resolved your uh, queries or issues. So those are things you can do. And here you can manage queue, SLA management. And here there is an option called customer portal. Also, we have an option which is, which is, you can see here we have an option customer portal, right? So also we have an option admin portal also there is, there are two in there are two main interfaces one is customer portal and another one is agent portal we can call as admin portal also and also we can integrate the whole otovo system with the email like not for notification we can send it to the respective stakeholders right so also we have custom notifications and automations like triggering events and uh, managing tasks behind the scenes so also we can create reports and statistics and the the most useful feature is this one which is api support and rest and soap support it gives you the end urls like end apis so you can create manage and you can update delete these all things you can do over the api okay so that's uh, nice to have these all features here there are many more features uh, we will those also those also uh, we will discuss in the upcoming videos okay so let's talk about the uh, the users of otobo who are using the otobo okay like who can use the otobo you can see here it service desks for example a telecom industries or hospitals they can uh, implement these uh, systems and also you can see hr and internal support customer support teams and managed services msps right in universities and government offices you can apply you can implement these tool and it is completely open source there is no any fees required you just need to you set up your uh, hardware here you just need your system that's all let's uh, go to the next slide and uh, now let's talk about an, uh, the why we need otobo and what are the advantages okay so the first one which is open source and free and open source i already mentioned that it is completely free and open source right you can see here here i have mentioned uh, let's make a different color yeah so it is open source and see here i have uh, mentioned that no license cost and you have a full access to the source code you can change anything whatever you want okay so and we have a freedom to use and modify and share okay you can set up your own photo and you can sell it okay that's up to you and after that one more we have which is actively developed and community driven if anything changes or any updates are coming then you can update it within the uh, within the community support okay as mentioned regularly updates and improvements from the both the core team and an active user community user community means otobo is having a large community community of users okay you can take a help from them also or else it is completely open source if you have a knowledge uh, if you have a backend knowledge of perl then you can implement on your own basis it is customizable customizable means you can change the workflows fields the uh, the metadata the the functionalities the workflows everything you can change in the in your own way okay so you can see here easily adapt the ticket fields forms and workflows to match your organization support process for example uh, you can also, it is comfortable with the telecom industry as well it is compatible with the hospital industry healthcare industry it is compatible with the government uh, field also right so you can customize on your own basis okay and one more feature we have which is integrate with ldap email apis right as i already mentioned it is completely it is having a feature called apis also right so it, it provides some apis to manage the tickets that also one good point and also you can integrate this with ldap azure ad and you can also use yomiq automations rpa bots so this is about the integrations and after that no vendor lock-in so as i already mentioned it is giving you a full control over your system data and the deployment without dependencies in a single vendor so that's about the uh, major advantages and uh, the features okay let's move to the next slide and uh, we will see about some difference and comparisons of our previous version which is otrs and otobo so here let's see uh, the feature and otrs and otobo community updates you can see the otrs is old one which is discontinued okay but the otobo is 
active now so it is continuously uh, releasing some updates and uh, they are they have they are continuing their updates till now and after that ui ux you can see the otrs ui ux was completely old and uh, the otobo ui is completely new version i will show you the differences uh, in this video okay and you can see api support in otrs there was a limited one but so in the otobo it is extended versions okay if you see about the performances it is like uh, there is a limited one okay performance but the otobo has optimized their performances okay so that was one point and uh, this these are the major uh, differences okay after this uh, uh, i will show you about the uh, ui and all and uh, in the upcoming videos uh, i will first show you the installation of the otobo in linux system after that we will show we will see about the customization and we will see uh, how can we configure the queues sla type states these all things we will see and we will raise the tickets also with the real time examples okay i will show you all and everything about this one first uh, what i will do uh, so first i will show you the otobo live okay so otobo demo we will see uh, otobo otobo demo right so here you can see the first link click on the first link and here you can see there are two interfaces right so one is self self service which is customer portal and another one is service agent interface which is we can say admin also we can say right so the, this is the user a demo user okay marry and i will click on the button and here i will click on the username and password okay i mean and i will log in okay you can see this is the this is the interface of otobo i will make a make it little zoom yeah so this is the interface you can see here we ha we are having our profile uh, mary moon here this is the dashboard one and uh, these are the tickets and here we have seven days stats and uh, you can see upcoming events and my last change of tickets what are the tickets you have changed recently those all you will see here and open tickets tickets uh, with the queue overview and also you have new new tickets which are in new states right so this is about the agent interface and also we will see about the customer service okay self service we can say self service so i will copy this one and this is the uh, customer end and i will log in so she is smiling here so yeah i'll click on okay and you can see this is the self service portal and this is how it looks see how cleanly it managed so these are the tickets the customer has raised right so if you want to create a tickets here there is a button called issue a ticket click on this one it will redirect to the uh, page where you can create the ticket okay see here wow nice see the, see the ui how it is improved if you want to see the uh, see the otrs uh, otrs ui otrs okay otrs ui the otrs ui otrs is not uh, like uh, they are not uh, giving you live demo okay it is discontinued but the ui is in this uh, format it was in this format uh, okay open in the new tab let's see yeah see this was the otrs ui see here it is not clean actually it is clean but it is not attractive the performance was also slow in the otrs but now they have improved their performance in the otobo system okay so this is all about the otobo and uh, in upcoming videos we will see about the installation setup configuration and how to raise the tickets how to manage the api everything we are going to see about this okay all right thank you for watching my video and uh, if you have any questions or any doubts you can comment on the comment section then i will respond to you guys okay See you in the next video. Bye-bye.